Welcome on the lock picking uh, presentation workshop uh, outside. Um, you know, lock picking is like sex. Um, it's very boring to talk about, and without practicing, there's nothing. <laughs> With practice, but poof. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay. So, um, what to speak about lock picking is very difficult for me because I know many of the um, different uh, styles and uh, techniques of uh, lock picking, and um, we have not too much uh, time here to, to speak about. And it's also boring, as I thought. Practicing is much, much more interesting. And outside, uh, we have two tables full of locks. Uh, of course, generally Hungarian locks, and um, therefore Hungarian techniques or opening techniques for all these locks. Um, I prepared some, some slides, 144 slides, <laughs> for this one hour, so you will see a film. <laughs> but, um, uh, just about the basics just about the basic tools and uh, a small comparison of, about uh, pin tumbler and lever tumbler locks. Okay, the uh, slides pictures are mainly from the presentations of uh, uh, Divine Olam, a very famous American uh, lock picker. He made the best uh, animations uh, to understand better uh, how the basic uh, techniques are working, how the basic tools are uh, used, and um, uh, from the uh, tool uh, homepage, uh, which is actually the, uh, the basis of all uh, lock picking um, international uh, things, uh, like Barry the Key, for example, the, uh, the very famous uh, lock picker, and so on and so on. So, um, we have plenty of techniques, as many as many locks we have. So, nearly every lock or lock type, or lock family, um, has a different type of opening technique, of course, uh, depending on the mechanism, how uh, the lock is uh, staying closed, and uh, how we try to find, uh, it's a very, very difficult word for me, vulnerability. Vulnerability. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Vulnerability. Bonus. Yeah. Bonus. Yeah. Bonus. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, what we are doing is uh, reverse engineering. Uh, we are try uh, uh, trying to find um, uh, holes in the uh, mechanical security, and um, we are also uh, finding out new techniques, and we create new tools with my partner, uh, with Chaba. And we, we build our own tools, um, <coughs> so, but we are on a certain level of lock picking because in Hungary uh, we do already uh, safe opening, um, non-destructive uh, safe opening, and this is our specialty, uh, what we do in the everyday life. <coughs> so, um, the most popular locks are the pin tumbler locks, uh, where um, you see this face, uh, this is the, the uh, outside face of the lock, and you see maybe uh, with, with good light, uh, you can see the, the top of the top pin, <coughs> um, uh, the, the plug, and, and the house itself. If you want to start lock picking, uh, you should first understand how the mechanism is working, how uh, the lock is built, and uh, which is that small element which is um, uh, not letting the plug turn. Um, of course, you should know the, the further structure of, of, of the lock because this is only the, the lock itself, but the lock mechanism <coughs> is uh, what is uh, keeping the door closed. So, not this small uh, pin is keeping the door closed, but the big mechanism, and the big mechanism has a, a smaller part which is uh, held by the lock and uh, we should find that uh, very special place where we uh, can open or, or uh, avoid uh, that small pin. Um, when we move this small pin, then we can turn the plug. That plug is uh, turning a bigger part of the lock mechanism and then finally uh, a big metal uh, door uh, could be opened. So, uh, you should know every small part of the lock. Uh, if you don't know that, uh, then uh, 
then you have two chances. Uh, first, not to open it, or, uh, or to open it with a destructive uh, type, so really with 46, and uh, um, kick it, or, um, or you build a special equipment, a special tool, uh, to find that uh, small pin and uh, push it down and to turn the plug. Every pin time the lock, uh, even in the US and in, in, um, in Europe, uh, has the same structure. Uh, the only difference that uh, in the US uh, the locks are upside down uh, in, the, in the door. Therefore, they say lift it. Uh, we say pick it or push it. So that's the difference. Um, maybe they have the, the small uh, help uh, of gravitation. Uh, if one pin is picked, then uh, the top pin is falling down. And uh, this is a sign that one pin is, uh, is, is already picked uh, or set it. Uh, we don't have this help and therefore uh, we need the, the, uh, a better feeling of uh, spring and, uh, and the tension. So every pin tumbler lock has a small spring, uh, a button pin and a top pin. Top pin is red, a uh, button pin is blue on the picture. And uh, uh, these two pins, uh, so the, uh, the connection of, uh, of these three elements uh, won't let the plug turn. Uh, since 1986 there is a new uh, DIN rule from Germany or um, standard that uh, two uh, so from the five or six pins at least two uh, pairs should be longer than uh, than this distance from here to here if you use any kind of um, um, uh, liquid to destroy this spring and both pins are falling down then the top pin should avoid to turn the plug. That is a general rule. Therefore, uh, the technique uh, to push out all the pins from the plug is not working anymore. So it was a very old technique uh, that's called, called um, so the tool was uh, um, a comb pick. It, it was really like a comb to push all the pins out from the plug and to turn it, but this comb technique is uh, working only for the Chinese uh, very cheap uh, padlocks. And it's still working, so they don't have uh, German standards in China, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, still, uh, it's still working the, uh, the style. When you put the right key into the lock, then um, the key with the cuts will push all the five pins into the correct position. Correct position means that the shear line between red and blue uh, pins is exactly uh, with the line uh, together of the plug and uh, the house of the lock. The problem is we have only two hands and only two tools. One tool is the tension wrench, one tool is the pick, and we have five pins and we are not as fast as uh, to push all the pins uh, together um, in the same time, in the <coughs> same good um, level, uh, because this function has the key and we are lock pickers and we don't use key for uh, opening a lock. And uh, therefore we should find um, the, the pins after each other and we should push the pins uh, after each other. How is it possible? Um, <coughs> if you put the, the correct key into, uh, into the lock, then the, um, the pins are uh, staying straight uh, in, the, in the correct haze. If you put uh, the wrong key, then one pin is higher or one pin is lower, then you cannot turn the plug. This is the incorrect uh, button pin and it's avoiding to turn the plug. So you, are, you have no chance to, to open the lock. Even if you try with uh, uh, brute force, uh, the key, uh, the key material itself is uh, not strong enough uh, to uh, brute force the uh, uh, the key and, and therefore the plug and to open it. If you want to uh, to create a, a tool, for example, uh, with a screw, you can uh, you can pull out this plug completely. Or with a um, that's called Poland Schlüssel, a key coming from 
uh, Poland, uh, which is a very, very strong uh, metal piece you put into the plug and you turn it and everything is breaking inside. Uh, that's not about picking actually. <laughs> this is the kind of breaking. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a destructive uh, opening. That's not how technically we don't use that. Okay. Um, even if you see different uh, lock types, even if you see different doors and so on, the lock itself has the same structure. Two pins uh, and spring. Yes, usually, so in 80%. In the rest, 20%. Uh, in the high price level, uh, you can find uh, uh, much more uh, closing elements and very, very special uh, internal design. But usually, in the normal uh, uh, householding, uh, you can see the, the normal uh, cheap uh, pin tunnel locks. Especially in Hungary, you can find 20, 30 years old um, or LZ locks in the doors, so uh, that's a pity. Even if they change it, uh, they will change it to, uh, to a Chinese uh, 700 foreign uh, locks, uh, which is, is not uh, really the correct security solution. Okay, the, the very ideal um, pin tumbler lock means it's absolutely correctly uh, produced and everything is very, very um, uh, correct in the lock and, and uh, very accurate. Um, and when you put uh, a tool into this uh, ideal uh, lock and you turn it, then all the five pins are winding in the same time. But that should be really uh, a, a perfect lock. In the reality, we don't have perfect locks because we have a production and the pro production is, no, uh, is not accurate actually. Uh, tools are damaging and uh, they are not as accurate and uh, many of the accurate, uh, so the failures in the accuracy uh, is adding together. And finally, if you see with microscope, uh, the, uh, the holes are not uh, staying aligned and uh, you have, um, you can see the, the, the small uh, damages um, or, or the not accuracy uh, points which are coming from the production. So production is not, not accurate, even if you see the serial production where uh, the tools are uh, damaging, then uh, you can see the, the failures. Uh, for example, if you see the, the beginning of a serial or, or, the, or the, the last piece of a serial, they are not identical. And if you see such a lock, or the parts inside, uh, they are not, um, not identical. Uh, they have um, a small um, uh, um, differences. Uh, for example, diameter, haze, um, small damages on the parts. And uh, the holes are not uh, staying in line. So uh, when you put a tool into the lock, and if you turn it, then only one pin is binding. And that is the, the uh, accuracy failure what we use during the lock picking. Even if you see not this type of lock, uh, but if you see a lever uh, lock or a, a wafer lock or uh, any type of lock, uh, we can find the same accuracy problem. So uh, the principle is all the same even if you see a pin tumbler lock or a safe uh, lever lock. That's production, that's serial production. Um, and if you see the, uh, the countries, then, uh, then the failures are um, uh, adding together. Um, if you see a German lock, which is a very accurate lock, and um, you start to find uh, that pin which is binding, then you can uh, find at the beginning uh, two or three pins are binding. When you see a Chinese lock, uh, then not more than one. So with the Chinese lock, you apply attention uh, to the plug uh, to turn it to the uh, correct uh, uh, in the opening uh, direction, and you put a, uh, a pick uh, tool into the lock, and you see the uh, the pins. Then you can find always one pin which is binding. Then you push that pin, comes a big click, click. Then the second click, third click, fourth click, fourth open. So that is a, a Chinese lock. With the German, you can play several hours to, to, to find the correct pin and to 
um, to set the correct uh, binding pin. So that is the principle, uh, even if you uh, see other uh, type of locks. Let's see uh, how lock picking is working. When you have only one uh, uh, pin pair in a, in a lock, like in this uh, practicing queue, uh, then it's very easy to push down the pin until the plug is turning, and then the plug is free to open or free to turn into the opening direction. Uh, to practice, uh, I was building this uh, practicing queue. Uh, the first lock uh, uh, half is with one uh, straight pin, the second is with a security pin, the third is with a combination of a straight and a uh, security pin, uh, the fourth is with uh, two security pins and one straight pin, two straight pin with one security pin, and so on and so on. And I can say you, if you do this, uh, this practicing cue three times, so if you really take the time and practice and uh, you can open all the locks three times, so you can uh, do three circles, then uh, you already learned BKS, this is a very famous and popular German lock. I had a problem with this lock because it has a very, very bad feedback uh, during the picking and therefore I was um, uh, building this um, training cube. Um, now if you practice it, uh, you can have the same, ex uh, same exercise and the, the same uh, good um, experience with BKS general lock. So, um, unfortunately we have five pins and as I told, only one is binding. So you, uh, uh, you apply a tension into the opening direction and um, you start finding uh, or you start searching uh, the binding pin. If you find the binding pin, you push it down, the plug is turning a bit and it's not letting the blue uh, pin uh, jumping back into the into the uh, plug, and then you find the second one, and then you uh, find the third one, and so on and so on, the fourth one and the fifth one, and uh, when you find the last one, then uh, the plug is turned and uh, it's open. That is the lock picking principle. Very easy uh, principle, and it, it is really uh, as easy as you see on the picture. Um, the problem is why you, you are not able to open uh, every lock uh, from the first beginning uh, when you first uh, take a pick tool is that uh, your hands are uh, made for, for big movements, uh, for, uh, for really uh, heavy uh, things and uh, you don't have that feeling already. So your skin is a little bit thick um, and, and you don't know uh, which kind of feeling you are searching for in the lock. And therefore we are speaking about forces. When you see uh, two pins with a spring, um, then with the first picking you should learn the, the force of the spring. If you feel only the, the spring force, then you know that uh, that pin pair is not binding. If you feel a higher for force, because uh, the spring force and the, the slipping force uh, is adding, when one pin is binding, then you have a sli uh, slipping, ad additional slipping force, and this slipping force is adding uh, to the spring force. It's a much, much uh, higher force. You can feel it very easily. If you uh, apply a higher tension, a big tension, so really as, as, as much as you can, then um, you can even bind uh, the pick uh, tool or even break it uh, because uh, you are not able to push down the pin. If you apply um, a light tension, then you can push down the, the binding pin. If the pin is not binding, then uh, if you push it down, it's jumping up again. So there is no binding force, there is no uh, uh, slip, uh, you have only the, uh, the spring force. And this is the difference what you should feel, uh, spring force alone or spring force with binding force uh, together. And when you feel it, then you can open every lock. Easy, right? <laughs> That's it.
and then all the all the, the other things and techniques are uh, uh, adding uh, to this basic principle. Even if you open lever lock, even if you open uh, pin tumbler lock, and then of course uh, with practicing you can uh, you can learn uh, many other techniques like uh, uh, a static uh, static uh, tensioning or a dynamic tensioning depending on the uh, type of the lock. Okay, that is the uh, basic uh, basic of lock picking. Uh, of course, lock picking is a business, so uh, every producer uh, who is producing uh, lock picking tools is producing uh, his own uh, tools, own uh, lock pick tools. Everybody uh, uh, is searching for the universal tool. Uh, with that tool, you can open every lock and and and. And therefore, the development is uh, to develop as many uh, new tools and new uh, tension branches as possible, or as many uh, locks we we have uh, on the market. Different locks uh, need different uh, techniques and different tools, and it's it's really a good uh, business to uh, to produce lock picking tools because uh, to produce one lock picking tool is uh, that costs uh, material plus production together not more than I think one or two dollars and you can sell it in Europe for example between uh, 8 to 17 euros so you can see the, uh, uh, the earning on uh, so the, the, the margin on the, on the tools and if you see a, a, a very special um, and very quick opening technique and tool then that would cost uh, up to 4,000 euros um, so I think the, the most expensive tool that I've ever seen is the newest uh, Fawagi opening tool. It's still mechanical, so no electric, no uh, additional programming or, or, or um, any such uh, thing. That costs uh, 4,000 uh, euros. And uh, with that, you can open Audi, uh, Skoda, uh, Seat, and Porsche. That's it. I will go for Porsche. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. But uh, one opening for one opening, you can uh, earn not more than 200, 300 euros. So um, you should really open. That's not our <laughs> field. Okay. Um, Different techniques uh, like raking, lifting, jiggling, overlifting, and so on and so on. Um, a good lock picker, uh, when, when we see a, a new lock, we try different techniques and different tools. And when one tool uh, or one technique is opening that special lock, then we buy um, other locks from that uh, family or from that area. And we try if the uh, if the technique or if the tool is really opening all the uh, all those locks, and then we publish that. Uh, means we send a letter to the to the factory uh, for the lock factory first uh, that we found uh, a hole in the security. Uh, we found a, a hole. 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 That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and please uh, close this hole and uh, do something development. We send this letter three times and when there is no reaction, uh, then we publish on the internet, on uh, the several home pages. And uh, of course the next uh, 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 German or international uh, uh, meeting or, uh, or race, uh, that championship, uh, will be full with that, uh, that lock and then we damage them and we, we open all of them. And then, and then, of course, we uh, we try different techniques. Uh, maybe different techniques are also opening uh, this lock. Um, with with this, um, we avoided uh, two or three years before uh, to to put a new lock on the market um, in in Frankfurt. So that was really a strange case. Okay. Um, for different techniques, we use uh, different tools. In the middle, you can see the, the old uh, jigglers. Um, now we can use it only for uh, the, the petrol tank uh, cap or um, letterboxes. 
Uh, yes, yes, maybe. Yeah, leader box for letter boxes. Yes, very, uh, um, very simple box for simple boxes, and so on. Um, this is the old um, uh, Kong pick for Chinese uh, locks. Uh, this is a special shim, uh, shimming tool. Uh, you can uh, produce it from a um, from a beer um, uh, can. Uh, what I really hate this bump technique. Uh, I, I never speak about this technique. Uh, we we never sell any key about the bump, bump technique. It's really a very very strange and very uh, a dirty trick. Um, if, if you see a lock and you have uh, a key for that lock, then you can modify that key uh, to open all the other locks of the serial. Uh, when we speak about the uh, low and middle price segment, when you see the high price segment, uh, above uh, 150, 200 euros, you cannot open with one technique because of different other closing elements in the lock. But if you see a normal pin tumbler lock, even if it has only the, the simplest uh, straight pins or security pins or any kind of pin, uh, you can open 90-95% of all the locks with this uh, stupid technique. Actually, that is a very, very old technique. It's based on the, uh, on the billiard uh, uh, game. And uh, that means if you hit all the pins, uh, all the... All the so the head of all the pins, if you hit it uh, with that special key, then the top pin is just uh, uh, kicking all the bottom pins out from the plug. And to use this millisecond when the two pins are uh, uh, dividing from each other, you turn the plug. And that's really a, uh, a stupid technique. <laughs> you can use it for, for, for most kind of locks. That's it. Actually, only for pin tumbler locks. So when you see when you say security lock, then we are speaking mainly uh, about lever locks. Therefore, we have in safes and in security doors uh, lever locks. Okay. Other uh, mechanical uh, tools to open locks is, for example, the uh, pick gun or um, yeah, pick gun. This one. And, um, and for all those who don't want to pay any, uh, uh, any tool, you can uh, bend your own snap gun. Uh, need more practice, but uh, still working on uh, a very, very good, um, uh, on a very good way and, and uh, very effective. So really, you can, uh, you can uh, uh, Kick it with your with your thumb and, and it's really hitting as hard as a as a, a, a snap gun. Actually, a snap gun costs also fifteen or what twenty dollars uh, on eBay. So, <laughs> uh, sorry, not on eBay. On eBay, it's forbidden to to buy uh, lock picking tools, but uh, from Deal Extreme. Adi <laughs> Baba. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, more and more uh, expensive opening tools. Um, on the top you can see a vent um, uh, EPIC, Electropic, that cost, so the, the normal price now is um, 500, uh, uh, sorry, 400, 450 uh, euros. It's not, uh, not too much for a tool, uh, but you can open most of the locks, most of the pin tumbler locks. So when you, when you are a, a locksmith and you use it daily, uh, and you should only charge it, uh, um, the battery, and uh, you don't need too much practice with that, uh, and you can earn money with that, then it's coming back very soon. So that's really a good tool. Um, that is a very old uh, um, uh, secret security tool. So it was copied uh, to a cheaper version. And, uh, actually, we can find on the, on the market very, very good tools, very, very good APX. Uh, because uh, many people are trying to develop, and, um, and now we have very, very nice tools on the market. Is the one in the middle actually made out of an uh, electric toothbrush? Yes, exactly. It's <laughs> <laughs> still working. So, uh, and, and do you know what was uh, the origin of what was the origin of this this tool? 
Garbage. The origin, the, the internal part of this tool is um, is the mechanism of a hard disk. <laughs> <laughs> and that could work too. That, uh, uh, that was the heads. Yes. I don't know which part. Um, I, I, I was just uh, reading the, the description of, of this tool. And the only thing what you need is the, the, the needle. The needle should shiver from this. But that's all. You can easily transform this kind of rotation to, to this kind of yeah. movement. Yeah. Yes, that's it. You need a motor and... Of course, <laughs> the, um, uh, the frequency is important. But even an uh, electric tooth, uh, toothbrush uh, could, uh, could shiver, so you can open the Chinese locks with that. On this picture, you can see very special tools. Uh, these tools are made for uh, normally for one lock, um, like for example, this tool is a very expensive tool. Uh, the price is uh, between three and four hundred euros. It's made for the Abus granite, um, very special tool. But you can um, you can open only the Abus granite with that. So um, uh, this is really for for hobbyists. Uh, you can never get back the price of that, but uh, everybody must have it. <laughs> <laughs> must have that. If you don't have it, if, or if you don't have uh, uh, money for that, then you buy the cheap uh, Chinese version for ten dollars. This is the Chinese version, and you have a, a, a last tool at home, and you can uh, make your own Abus granite tool. So from ten dollars uh, and. Uh, you join the tech club and uh, uh, we will buy some uh, less for that and then we, we can produce our own tool, right? Yes, join the tech club. Okay, um, if you see, I'm oh, sorry, if you see um, this tool here, this tool is called a uh, Hopsha Hacker or a uh, hop speak, or this tool is a, a, another type of hop speak. Is specially made for lever locks, uh, safe opening, uh, small uh, furniture safe, or uh, even big uh, uh, bank uh, uh, safe opening, uh, or for security doors. Very special tools. Even if you buy a universal uh, tool, you should modify that, and then you can use that tool only for that type of lock, and even not for the whole area of the lock, but only uh, for that special. Uh, uh, type of lock. So you need to buy uh, plenty of these tools uh, to modify every piece into, uh, in, into one special uh, lock. Uh, tool, one tool costs uh, 150 to 250 euros, so you can imagine uh, how much uh, uh, it costs for a locksmith uh, who is opening uh, safes, for example. Okay, uh, the question is always uh, for which uh, block you apply uh, which tool um, and what can you do if you don't have that tool. And here I can tell you, um, for example, uh, there is this uh, round block. Um, you can use the very special uh, HPC, um, uh, very expensive tool, uh, costs uh, 85 euros. Or you can build your own um, uh, tension wrench for that. You could see in, uh, at the table, I, I was building uh, a special tension wrench for that. You can practice it on that small uh, furniture safe. And uh, you push the pins uh, after each other with a, with a, uh, a big tool. And um, with, with practice and, and with good feeling, you can open uh, that lock. Uh, the same case with, the, with that uh, middle lock here. It's uh, this tool called a uh, cross tool. Um, it's a raking tool. You just put it into the lock. Uh, you uh, turn it into the opening direction, and you just pull it and, and push it. Uh, so you rake the lock uh, with this tool. But from other hand, you can uh, make a special tension wrench, and you can pick it. Uh, you need only pick it four times in every direction. And it's the same uh, picking method uh, as I uh, showed in the uh, picture. Or there is uh, uh, this type of rock, uh, Bormode in German. I don't really know the English name. Uh, it's only uh, the, so the boring holes are on the side of the rock, or, or on, on the key. 
and therefore we need a special tool which is not uh, uh, the, the, the cheap uh, uh, hook tool but uh, it's a modified uh, uh, special head for this tool but actually the Chinese version costs also uh, I don't know, $10 uh, a set so you can buy it and you can modify it and then you can open uh, those type of locks What, what are these tools called? Uh, if you, if you to... um, this uh, uh, sideboard uh, lock opening tool, <laughs> or a uh, board mode uh, opening uh, set, <laughs> or something like that. So side, side what? I don't okay. remember the name of this uh, of this lock or of this key. Okay. Board mode. <laughs> 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 okay, so um, why why we have uh, different shapes uh, of locks uh, and why we have, uh, for example, this kind of lock? When the criminal is coming and, and see the uh, the type of the keyhole, oh, it's just not a normal. I go better to the neighbor. Uh, this is one reason. Uh, second of all, if you see these type of locks, uh, the pins are smaller because the place is uh, is, is not as much as uh, uh, in the normal uh, position, so it's normally easier to open, easier to pick, um, and normally uh, the opening techniques are uh, uh, much easier to use. For example, the foil impressioning uh, technique is is very easy to use for these type of locks. Um, Actually, um, if you see the, the, the security level of locks, uh, the high security level locks are these type of uh, locks. That's it. So, uh, practicing, practicing, practicing. That's uh, um, everything what you should know about lock picking. Uh, we practice always uh, uh, when we watch TV and, and, and we are just sitting on uh, on public transportation. <laughs> no, that's not. That's, that's not a joke. Okay, um, when we see a completely different type of lock, this is a, a, a certain lever lock. Uh, we have a bolt, a really uh, big metal piece on the bolt, which is closing uh, uh, the door, this element here, and we have levers. The levers are uh, the spring loaded and uh, we have the key which is lifting all the levers uh, to the correct height and therefore the bolt could move. Um, the, this bolt could move really uh, really much, so one, two, three centimeters, uh, whatever you want, depends on the lock. Um, maybe you can say that, okay, but how this lock picking technique is working, because it's a, it's a completely different structure. Um, different closing uh, <coughs> elements and so on and so on. The principle is the same. Um, the accuracy of this lock is um, as bad as uh, for uh, pin tumbler locks. And if you push the bolt into the um, into the opening direction, and uh, this bolt here, this part of the bolt is touching the levers, only one lever is loaded by this. Or by this force. When you put a special uh, tool into the lock, this uh, is called Hopshahaken or uh, hop, Hops uh, tools. When you put this tool into the lock, you turn the, uh, the bolt uh, into opening direction uh, with, uh, with the tension uh, wrench, and uh, with the other uh, part of the tool, you just lift the levers after each other. And when you feel that one lever is di more difficult to, uh, to lift, that was the lever uh, which is holding back uh, the board. That's it. Same, same problem, same spring force and uh, binding force. Uh, you lift this lever until this force is, is, uh, is disappearing and then the lever is set. So you have nothing to do with, uh, with that. You go to the other levers and you lift them uh, after each other and then finally uh, with a really big uh, click uh, the lock opens once. Um, the problem normally that uh, these locks are closed two times 
So you need to do uh, the same simply two times. Second of all, uh, these locks are uh, usually in safes and uh, the safe locks are uh, developed uh, with a special type, type of uh, picking resistance, picking resistances or um, such, uh, such uh, um, uh, things which are uh, uh, making lock picking much, much more difficult but not impossible. You should know everything uh, could be opened uh, with time and with the right uh, technique and tool. So uh, you need uh, simply to uh, to learn the lock and, uh, and time to open it. Uh, this is how uh, a normal safe lock or, or um, uh, um, a modern safe lock uh, looks like and this is the OPS, uh, OPS tool uh, inside the lock. The problem is this small cut um, at the beginning of the leader because the, the, bolt, the bolt here has the same cut and these cuts are uh, staying together then you are not able to move the levers anymore. But therefore we found a new technique uh, we are uh, not allowed to apply a static uh, uh, a tension uh, to open because then, then you have this problem that uh, the levers are uh, uh, after a while not moving anymore uh, but uh, you should learn the, the dynamic, uh, uh, the dynamic uh, uh, tension that means uh, if you feel that uh, one lever is, is in the uh, incorrect position so it will not, not in the opening uh, position then you uh, leave the tension and you force the lever uh, um, away from, from that position and then you apply a, a more tension. So um, both of your hands uh, must, uh, must work really dynamic uh, during this opening. So every, every lock has its own uh, uh, security and if you if you see or if you think about safe opening that means that we are sitting in this position, in this position, um, three to four hours to open the lock. We close out the, the environment with uh, a, a headphone. We uh, extend our senses uh, with hearing uh, the contact noises uh, because we cannot see anything. We can only touch. Uh, we can see a scale and uh, we can hear the contact noises. And after four hours. <laughs> <laughs> the face of the uh, and, and usually you sit in a very dirty cellar uh, uh, or uh, in a very dirty place uh, where the safest uh, position is placed. This is why it plays good. Yeah, but uh, think always that uh, <laughs> every, chain, every chain is just as strong as its weakest, weakest point. Um, this is what we are searching for um, um, and, and let's speak about safe opening a bit if you see a safe uh, everybody is thinking yes a safe is very uh, very safety yes from the front um, but every safe has a back side and the bottom side and if you if you think that yes but that safe is 400 kilograms uh, uh, heavy and, and you cannot turn it of course you can turn it you just need some special uh, movement and special tools how to turn it uh, usually uh, uh, four, four to six hundred uh, uh, kilogram safes we turn many times uh, to, to find the best uh, hole or, uh, or the best place to attack it and uh, just think that uh, if you find any hole on the safe, then uh, you can send uh, an endoscope into that hole, uh, even if that small is only three millimeter uh, uh, big. Then you can send a two point <coughs> seven millimeter uh, endoscope through that hole, and you can see exactly the correct place uh, to have your uh, your job uh, to open that safe. For example, who knows that uh, every um, um, normal um, number uh, number lock on the safes uh, has on the back side a hole which is uh, called the setting hole for the setting key 
Okay, every safe has a, a, a fixing hole uh, on the back side or on the bottom side. Okay, then we turn the safe, we send an endoscope into the, uh, into the hole, uh, we look straight into this hole, into this uh, setting hole, and from that uh, three millimeter hole, uh, we can read out the, the correct uh, uh, numbering, uh, the correct uh, code of the safe, and that costs only 30 minutes. So that is also lock picking, uh, even if we have nothing to do with the lock. It's not a lock. Lock picking. Lock picking. Lock picking. So these are also techniques uh, which were really very, very secret in the past, but uh, now you can read it on the internet, uh, you can learn it, uh, you buy a, a, a small endoscope camera, a, a USB camera for, uh, I don't know, uh, 10 or 15 dollars, you uh, uh, push it here and, and you can see it to save. I can show it uh, at, the, at the tables, how it's working, I have this endoscope camera here, we have a safe there, so uh, we can show how the technique is working. Put it in a dog? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. This dog? <laughs> from the back or from the front? <laughs> <laughs> Every horse, sorry. <laughs> okay, even if you feel, uh, feel so, uh, you can find uh, the, the weakest point uh, where you can start um, um, to open the, um, uh, uh, the chain. Uh, finally, you, you open uh, um, everything. Okay, uh, from here um, I have many slides, of course, about um, um, the, the basic techniques of lock picking. If if you are interested, if you are interested, um, maybe not. Um, um, I can uh, show it uh, very quickly as the uh, pin uh, picking or a single pin picking SPP uh, is that what what I have thought. Uh, to find uh, the binding pin, that is the single pin picking or raking, the American technique, they just put a, a tool into the lock and they are just, just raking, raking, raking until the lock is opening. Uh, could be a very fast and very effective technique, uh, mainly for cheap locks and uh, American locks where the distances are uh, bigger and, and, and the keyholes are bigger. <coughs> or um, uh, basic tools. Uh, not very uh, expensive tools, but uh, uh, don't uh, uh, don't bring it with you in Hungary. It's forbidden here. Okay. Um, what? Sorry. Bringing pick sets in Hungary is a yeah. Like holding them or all all these uh, techniques and what you see in this presentation is completely forbidden to do in Hungary. So it's an instruction about what not to do here. Only, only if you have a company who is uh, uh, officially accepted to uh, to what? <laughs> That's the good question. A locksmith company, and you are registered in the police, and you are registered in the common. <laughs> That's okay. So, um, um, basic. Uh, Basic techniques: how to calculate uh, how many pins you have in the in the locks. Um, for just an example, uh, a Chinese company uh, found that uh, if they if they increase the number of pins, uh, that is more difficult to open. And they put two times seven pins into the uh, into the lock uh, to increase the security of the lock. Finally, we found that even if with a with an ice cream uh, uh, stick, if you put it there and you push down the pins and, and uh, uh, pull it out very quickly, then it's opening. So, uh, <laughs> increase the number of the pins doesn't mean that the lock is better or, or more safer, but you should know what is inside. Um, you can see with a special um, uh, endoscope or that's called bore scope uh, with a tool you can see into the lock uh, or you can uh, put a, a tool into the lock and you can calculate how many pins uh, are inside um, when you apply a light tension and uh, you you calculate the pins and you push the pins then you see if the pins are straight or uh, security pins and so on and so on so the feeling uh, the first feeling or the first noise as you pull out the, the tool uh, has a good uh, 
um, information what is inside. Okay, and what we say uh, after several years of lock picking that not the picking uh, tool is opening the lock, but the tension branch. And therefore, if you see a very uh, uh, expert uh, lock picking uh, uh, tool case, then you can find hundreds of tension branches mm -hmm. and only hooks. And, and that's it. Um, when, when I see such two case, I afraid that that guy will be the first or second in the championship. <laughs> <laughs> so he has the real practice and, and, and the good uh, level of, 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 of skills uh, in the lock picking. So many of the um, tension branches uh, are giving better feedback and, uh, and better um, so more effective uh, uh, in the opening, and of course different uh, tension branches. Even the tension, in, even to produce tension branches, uh, uh, worth the money because uh, such a tension branch, or I can tell you that such a set uh, with that tension branch costs 50 euros. So five tension branches from the company Peterson from America uh, costs 50. I was really shocked. <laughs> hey, that is only stupid tension branch. <laughs> <laughs> My God. So, but with a better tension branch, you can have better feedback and you can open better the uh, locks, of course. So it's business. Okay. The, um, a tool case uh, with, with, with the more uh, most popular uh, uh, tools different tension branches, different hooks, of course, because we have deeper uh, pins, we have uh, much higher pins, therefore in the deeper hook or, uh, or, or, or other hook, a uh, snake and uh, this tool here called Mountain 6. <coughs> Don't ask me why is it called Mountain 6, maybe it has six mountains. <laughs> but there are plenty of different and this is my training cube, the better, better picture to practice. Actually, this is the, the right practicing. Uh, you can build your own lock. Uh, if you have only one lock uh, in your case, uh, in a two case, then you can uh, take off uh, four pins and then you have only one and you can practice that one pin. Maybe it's boring, but uh, you can have a good feeling. What does it mean spring force? What does it mean spring force additional uh, with uh, uh, binding force and so on? <coughs> and then you increase with the second pin and then with the third one and you position, for example, this one pin into the back of the lock and then um, um, you uh, um, try to um, have the, the exercise uh, to uh, to push the tool through the, the keyhole and to find the last uh, pin, which is uh, maybe difficult if you have five pins in the keyhole, and so on and so on, with different uh, tension branches. Or um, um, if you put the tension branch into the different places in the keyhole, then sometimes you, you cover uh, the hole, so you have no, no chance to put the, the pick, uh, uh, pick tool into the hole. So, uh, it's always uh, has the, the, the best, the optimum place to, to put the tension branch, and then you have a hole, a uh, keyhole uh, to put uh, a, a bigger uh, pick into the hole. So, uh, and different, uh, different locks, just to show you. Um, Opening technique is the same, uh, tools are usually the same, uh, like the wafer locks uh, for furniture, for uh, letter boxes, for uh, electric boxes. Uh, these locks have a uh, wafer inside. Um, the system is the same, uh, but form is different. Uh, maybe it's more difficult to find the top uh, of the wafer in the lock, but with practice you can uh, easily identify it what is wafer and what is the, the plug between the wafers. Uh, maybe the only problem could be uh, that uh, the wafers, uh, if you push down the wafers, uh, they, could, uh, uh, they could go down too deep, uh, but uh, that is the same with the uh, pin tumblers. So.
actually the color is the same. Um, car, car locks uh, have this system. Um, Chinese uh, producers uh, develop a very, very special tool for, uh, for these uh, wafer locks or cars. And I can tell you that this is a perfect tool. So with uh, practice, uh, you can really open every type of car uh, within, within five minutes. And uh, absolutely non-destructive, uh, without, not without any sign. Of course, uh, you can find that uh, special opening to open uh, that, uh, that car. But uh, you should know that Fawage uh, Group, uh, that means again Škoda, Audi, uh, Volkswagen, Seat and Porsche, they developed, they developed a lot in the last uh, two, three years uh, in the locks of the car. Uh, for example, my Škoda is two years old. It's a Škoda Octavia, and um, if you close it with uh, with alarm uh, button, uh, so not with key but with button, then uh, uh, many techniques are not working anymore. Um, first of all, uh, if you pull out uh, the door of the car uh, and with a uh, long wire you uh, try to to, uh, to open the lever, uh, the door opening lever is not working at all because this special safe lock um, is uh, dividing the mechanism uh, in the car. Uh, if you push the button in the middle of uh, the car, it's not working. So uh, when, you, when your car is in a deep garage and uh, the battery is over, then you have only one chance to open the car uh, uh, through, the, through the keyhole. So with lock picking or with the destructive opening. And uh, this is a very good development, I think. Uh, you need special tool. This special tool costs a lot. You need practice. Uh, <laughs> I don't know too many person in Hungary who has this tool and who can use this tool. Um, from the other hand, you need a, uh, that special tool for... So for every car type, you need uh, that special tool. Um, and um, after four or five years, they change uh, the sizes of the lock. So you need another special tool, and that, that costs really a lot. <laughs> so, uh, and Lishi is the, the Chinese company who, who developed this, uh, this tool. That's really the best one that I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you can uh, check it in my, uh, my car. What's so, it sorry? What's it called? Uh, L E S S H E, Lishi. Lishi, Lishi. So, cupboards and, uh, and other boxes uh, have this uh, wafer lock, cars, uh, motorbikes, uh, electric boxes, alarm uh, boxes, and so on. Elevators. Uh, okay, I don't see anything. <laughs> Um, boarded locks, uh, very common um, and very cheap solution uh, to close something, um, mainly electric boxes. Uh, this is the lock, uh, what you can open uh, with, uh, with a piece of metal, but also from a beer can, uh, because you need to uh, push away that, that red uh, closing element of it. And that is, that is your only uh, task. Uh, there was a, a trial to, to shoot uh, this type of uh, lock uh, with, uh, with guns, 9mm uh, guns, and uh, they couldn't open with uh, 5 or 6 uh, shots. Uh, so, but from the other hand, uh, you can open with this type of tool. You just um, um, push it into the lock and you find the right, uh, the correct place and plug open. Or, uh, you make a shim tool, <laughs> and this shim tool is made from uh, from that thin, thin, very thin metal. Uh, you just uh, cut a special form, uh, and you prepare the tool, and then you open it. I have this uh, lock here. You can you can try it. So in electric boxes, usually in containers, or and that is open. <coughs> and of course, um, a very high, uh, high tech and very expensive box with that um, um, 
what is closed with uh, with uh, with bores, with steel bores, you have nothing to do with them. So, uh, you should you should really open while the, uh, while the keyhole, and if you turn this uh, this plug, uh, then. Uh, this upper closing element is letting the uh, the two balls uh, coming into the internal part of the and then you can open it. So this is the only chance of open it. Usually, uh, obus, obus granite, uh, obloid, and, and, and those rocks. Uh, very expensive. Yeah, bump key technique. Uh, uh, very similar is the uh, the pin gun technique or. Uh, this is the bump key technique. This is that special tool which is touching only uh, the head of the pins uh, but has place to move in the lock. And if you really bump it with a hammer or with a screwdriver, then it's hitting uh, so much the pins that uh, it's uh, shooting the, the, the blue pins into the bottom uh, of, the, uh, of the lock. And then uh, with a good timing, you can open. What does it mean, timing? Uh, somebody from you couldn't open uh, that safe. <laughs> yes, we don't say names. <laughs> timing means first hit, then turn. <laughs> Good timing. It's <laughs> really Yeah, okay. Uh, but actually, timing means uh, I can tell you a very strange story. Uh, we opened uh, a safe with Chaba. And, um, and Chaba was drilling uh, the safe from the back and uh, with a 60 centimeter long uh, um, uh, uh, drill and we were drilling uh, on a wrong place and that was an electric lock but um, as, as we were drilling the lock uh, the whole lock was shivering as I imagine uh, as uh, Chaba was drilling on a, on a slow uh, 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 with a slow frequency, and I think uh, the, uh, the lock was shivering the whole internal part and I was at the front of the, the safe and I was trying to open um, uh, with, with the same frequency and suddenly the safe popped open and uh, wow, it, it's open, uh, we are the best and, <laughs> and we disowned the lock and we have seen we are really drilling on the wrong place, so that that shouldn't be opened. But with the with, with the best uh, timing, uh, we could uh, open the uh, mechanism uh, with that frequency. Maybe you should pay the robot to try it faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, with laser. <laughs> that's possible. That is a special safe opening technique. Uh, you know this uh, big. Uh, 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 hammer uh, drillers, mm -hmm. which are uh, not uh, drilling, but it's hammering, um, and they are hammering with uh, a pneumatical mechanism. And there is a, there is a special tool, which is a big rubber, rubber cube. You put it into this uh, uh, big hammer, and, and, and you just hold it and, and let it uh, shiver the safe. And uh, another person is, is needed in the, in, with the same frequency, is trying to open the mechanism. And suddenly, when it pops open, then, then you have a chance uh, to open uh, electric locks. So, uh, electromechanical safe locks. So it's an opening technique. You you need to shiver 600 kilograms. <laughs> 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 <laughs>